you curious about the Six Sigma Black Belt? Do you want to know everything that's involved with this position? How it's different from the other Six Sigma Belts and what's required to be one? Well, regardless of why you may be here, you are in the right place. As a project management professional with decades of experience working with different methodologies and frameworks, I thought it would be useful to pull together a video that breaks down all that you will want to know about the Six Sigma Black Belt in a simple, understandable and logical way. So in today's video, we are going to be covering a very brief overview of the Six Sigma methodology, what a Six Sigma Black Belt is, the other belts, that you need to be aware of and how the black belt fits into them, the roles and responsibilities of a black belt, the skills and knowledge areas required to be an effective black belt, how much you typically earn in this position and much more along the way. But before we delve deeper into the black belt position, we first need to understand the overarching methodology. Six Sigma, is a set of techniques and tools designed to improve processes. It was created by engineer Bill Smith at Motorola in 1986. By using data and statistical analysis, problems can be found and fixed. For Six Sigma to be practiced in an organization, it requires the employment of trained experts in Six Sigma techniques to lead projects. Enter the black belt. Imagine being the go-to problem solver in your company, the person everyone turns to when challenges seem insurmountable. Picture yourself leading critical projects that save millions and transform processes. This is the power of a Six Sigma black belt. A black belt isn't just a title, it's a badge of mastery in process improvement, advanced data analysis and leadership. But in more business specific terms, a Six Sigma black belt is a professional who leads complex improvement projects. They apply advanced statistical analysis and help to mentor green belts. We'll get onto those in a second. Now, black belts play a strategic role in aligning projects with organizational goals, driving significant efficiency and quality improvements. So how do black belts fit in with the wider methodology? Well, we need to understand the other belts. So there are four different belts within the Six Sigma methodology. Now, Six Sigma uses a belt system to designate expertise and roles. So firstly, you have the yellow belts. Now they have a basic understanding of Six Sigma and they typically support project teams, assist with data collection and provide simple improvements. Then you have green belts. Now they are an intermediate level and have a deeper knowledge of Six Sigma. Now their responsibilities involve leading smaller projects analyzing data more simply and implementing Six Sigma tools. Then we have the black belt, which is what this video is all about. They are advanced practitioners of Six Sigma. So they typically, and I'll talk you through more responsibilities in a second, but they typically lead larger projects, mentor green belts and drive significant improvements. And then you have the master black belts. These are the expert level strategic leaders. Now their responsibilities are overseeing multiple projects at once or programs. They help to train and mentor black belts and they ensure alignment with business goals. So the main difference, you're probably wondering, is there much of a difference between a black belt and a master black belt? Well, the main difference is that the master is more high level. They're more strategic and they look after programs of projects they focus more on the organizational level and, and broader strategic initiatives. So with this in mind, let us go back to the Six Sigma Black Belt, which is what this video is all about.
So the main responsibilities are as follows. They focus primarily on high impact projects. So complex and high impact projects are the focus. So it can be planning, executing and overseeing projects that aim to enhance efficiency, reduce costs and improve quality across various processes. They also play a strategic role. They align Six Sigma projects with the strategic goals of the organization. So this involves understanding the broader business objectives and ensuring that improvement projects contribute to these goals. They also help to mentor green belts and other team members for that matter. So they provide guidance on Six Sigma tools and methodologies, helping to build a culture of continuous improvement within the organization. They also offer advanced data analysis, leveraging advanced statistical tools to identify trends and validate solutions. So their expertise in data analysis allows them to pinpoint root causes of problems and implement effective solutions. A black belt also leads and manages large scale change initiatives. They ensure that changes are implemented smoothly and are sustainable, working to overcome resistance and engage stakeholders. They also integrate lean principles with Six Sigma methodologies. So this involves reducing waste, optimizing processes and enhancing overall efficiency while maintaining high quality standards. It's also a black belt is integral for providing advanced project management skills. So a Six Sigma black belt plans, coordinates and monitors projects meticulously to ensure they are completed on time, within scope and on budget. Effective leadership and communication are also crucial and a key part of this role. So a Six Sigma black belt communicates complex information clearly and persuasively, ensuring that all team members and stakeholders are aligned and informed. And also they are inf influential in just spearheading the team. So in terms of key skills and knowledge areas, there is some overlap here. But to excel as a Six Sigma black belt, one must possess a range of advanced skills. So the main ones are an advanced understanding of DMAIC and DMADV. Now these are acronyms. Um, DMAIC stands for Define, Measure, Analyze, Improve, Control. And DMADV is Define, Measure, Analyze, Design and Verify. Now these are different methodologies, but both of which are essential in Six Sigma. Now these structured approaches are critical for driving processes, uh, process improvements and designing new processes as well. Also statistical analysis. So black belts have to be proficient in using these statistical tools and techniques as we've previously discussed. They need to be able to perform complex data analysis. Process mapping and an analysis is also integral to identify inefficiencies and opportunities for improvement. So whether that's visualizing current processes or designing new and optimized workflows, it's very, very important. Root cause analysis must be conducted by a black belt using techniques such as the five whys, fishbone diagrams, and failure mode and effects analysis, FMEA, which is the acronym for that. Now these tools help in identifying and addressing the underlying causes of problems. Lean principles. So black belts need to understand and apply lean principles to eliminate waste and enhance efficiency. So this includes concepts like value stream mapping, 5S, and continuous flow. Now we've touched upon project management thus far, but skills all around planning, executing, and monitoring Six Sigma projects are incredibly important. Managing timelines, resources, and stakeholders are crucial. Change management as well. So a black belt must be able to uh, manage resistance, engage stakeholders and ensure smooth transitions during process changes. Also, we've touched upon strong leadership skills, primarily when mentoring green belts. So if it's guidance, support and training, they need to be able to do this. Communication skills are essential for black belts to convey their complex messages and information clearly and persuasively. There's also a, a skill required in strategic thinking. 
they need to have a, a mindset for aligning Six Sigma projects with organizational goals. So understanding the broader business context and ensuring that improvement initiatives contribute to strategic objectives. So now I just wanna to touch upon the certi certification process and how one would go about becoming a Six Sigma black belt. So it does involve a rigorous process to ensure proficiency in advanced Six Sigma methodologies. So here are the key steps. First, one requires um, a prerequisite knowledge, a foundational understanding of Six Sigma principles, which is often gained through a green belt certification and even practical experience in leading projects. In terms of training, you, one would need to enrol in a comprehensive Six Sigma Black Belt training program. Now these programs typically last several weeks to months and cover in-depth Six Sigma tools, those advanced statistical analysis processes, project management and leadership skills as well are all part of this. Then there is an exam. So after completing the training, candidates must pass a certification exam. Now this exam tests knowledge of Six Sigma methodologies, tools and principles. It includes multiple choice questions, practical scenarios and case studies to assess one's ability to apply the concepts effectively. Then there is project completion. So to achieve certification, candidates must lead one or more real world Six Sigma projects. So these projects should demonstrate their ability to apply the DMAIC or DMADV methodologies to solve complex problems and drive process improvements. The projects are usually reviewed and evaluated by, by a certifying body or instructor. Then we have project review. So the completed projects are submitted for review where they are assessed for their adherence to Six Sigma principles. Now the effectiveness of the solutions implemented and the overall impact on the organization are considered. This review process ensures that candidates have successfully applied their training in a practical setting. And upon passing the exam and project review, candidates receive their Six Sigma Black Belt certification. This certification is a formal recognition of their expertise in Six Sigma methodologies and their ability to lead high impact improvement projects. So going through that process, you're probably thinking what's at the end of it? How much does a Six Sigma Black Belt earn? Well, in 2022, the average salary for a Six Sigma Black Belt in the United States is $126,900. And that falls within the range spanning from 108,900 to 136,700. Now bear in mind that this salary does differ depending on the industry and the organization among other factors as well. So I just want to leave you with some real world applications of the black belt position. So firstly in manufacturing, in manufacturing, Six Sigma black belts are instrumental in improve, improving product quality and operational efficiency. For example, a black belt might lead a project to reduce defects in an automotive production line, resulting in fewer recalls, higher customer satisfaction and substantial cost savings. In the healthcare sector, Six Sigma black belts streamline processes to enhance patient care and reduce costs. For instance, a black belt could implement process improvements in a hospital to reduce patient wait times, improve the accuracy of medical diagnosis and enhance overall patient outcomes. And then in the finance sector, black belts focus on optimizing financial processes and reducing errors. So an example could be improving the accuracy and speed of loan process, processing, leading to increased customer satisfaction and reduced operational costs. And that is the Six Sigma black belt. I hope this video is useful. If you have any questions, comments, or feedback on this position, drop them down below and I will get back to you. And with that said, best of luck, and I hope you have an excellent day.